dream of living on Mars is now becoming a reality. Five starships have just landed on the Red Planet, marking the first big step toward creating a Mars colony. These ships have delivered everything needed to support life, like solar panels, oxygen, water, medical supplies, and the first living pods. A new communications network is set up, and soon, humans will be arriving to start life on Mars. Robots are already hard at work, preparing the land and gathering resources to make the base sustainable. As Earth and Mars come closer in their orbits, the countdown to human arrival begins. This isn't just a mission, it's the start of a new chapter in human history, where living on another planet is no longer science fiction, but an unfolding reality. Five uncrewed starships made history by successfully landing on Mars. This marked the beginning of humanity's journey to establish a permanent colony on the Red Planet. The landing was a pivotal moment, as these starships were loaded with essential life support systems crucial for the survival and future growth of a Mars colony. The cargo included solar panels, oxygen generators, water supplies, medical equipment, and the first habitation pods. One of the starships played a critical role in deploying Mars's first Starlink satellite network, which was essential for maintaining reliable communication between Mars and Earth. Following the successful landing, robotic rovers and Boston Dynamics robotic dogs, specially designed for the harsh Martian environment, were deployed. Their mission was to begin setting up the Mars base. They meticulously deployed solar arrays to power the base, drilled into the Martian surface to access icy water deposits, and initiated the production of methane fuel through the Sabatier process. This process cleverly converts carbon dioxide from Mars's atmosphere into water, oxygen, and methane fuel, laying the groundwork for future human missions. The first group of 30 astronauts arrived on Mars, becoming the pioneers of human settlement on another planet. These astronauts, comprised of scientists, engineers, medical specialists, and military personnel with scientific backgrounds, embarked on a mission that was far from a short-term visit. They brought with them an oversupply of life support systems, ensuring that the Mars base would have everything needed to support life. Their arrival marked the transition from robotic to human presence on Mars as they began the hard work of building a sustainable base. Life on Mars brought considerable challenges. In March 2029, astronauts faced average temperatures dropping to minus 63 degrees Celsius and a significantly thinner atmosphere compared to Earth's. During their initial week, they had to adjust to these extreme conditions. The low gravity, which was only 38% of Earth's, caused muscle weakness following their seven-month journey. The astronauts initially lived in the starships they had landed in, gradually acclimating to their new surroundings. This adaptation period was essential for establishing the foundation needed for humans to not only survive, but eventually thrive on Mars. The Mars settlers concentrated on crucial expansion projects to establish a sustainable colony. They began by testing innovative methods to convert Martian soil into 3D printing material, which would be essential for constructing future habitats and infrastructure. Indoor plant cultivation started in specially designed greenhouses, marking the first steps towards self-sufficient food production on the Red Planet. Additionally, the production of cryomethane fuel commenced, laying the groundwork for future return trips to Earth 
and enhancing the colony's long-term viability. These early achievements were pivotal in advancing the multi-generational mission of transforming Mars into a thriving, habitable world for future generations. The Mars colony experienced significant growth. A second group of 500 settlers arrived, including architects, scientists, engineers, and botanists. Notably, four private individuals each contributed $50 million to the mission, demonstrating strong financial support. The settlers began constructing small permanent greenhouse domes, which led to the first Martian salad made from locally grown produce, marking a crucial step in reducing dependency on Earth-supplied food. The establishment of Depot X, Mars's first permanent fueling station, was a key milestone, alongside the development of 3D printed habitats using Martian soil and lab-grown plants. These advancements laid the foundation for a more sustainable and self-reliant colony, setting the stage for future expansions and innovations on the Red Planet. The Mars colony underwent remarkable transformations. Autonomous industrial-scale 3D printers facilitated rapid expansion, turning the base into a sprawling town of interconnected domes. The construction of the first Martian hospital began, reflecting the colony's growing infrastructure and commitment to long-term settlement. The population reached 1,000 inhabitants, with many choosing to stay permanently. Significant cultural milestones included the first Martian marriage and the establishment of a local political system to manage the expanding community. Exploration missions uncovered cave systems suitable for underground habitats, and the Boring Company's tunnel digger tested these potential sites. These developments not only advanced Mars's habitability, but also fostered a vibrant and evolving society on the Red Planet. In 2035, known as the Great Crossing, Earth and Mars were closer than usual, allowing for a mass movement of settlers and equipment. Over 500 new arrivals helped expand the colony to over 7,000 people by 2041. Noteworthy achievements included the construction of the first bioprinter at the Martian Hospital for testing human parts, the opening of the first restaurant serving bioprinted food, and the beginning of nuclear fusion power plant construction. The first Martian-born human visited Earth, supported by a robotic suit controlled by a neural link brain chip, and significant advancements in agriculture and manufacturing on Mars were achieved. Mars achieved impressive milestones in exploration and self-sufficiency. 2042, the first person climbed Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system showcasing human capability on the Red Planet. The colony became increasingly self-reliant, with a new mRNA manufacturing facility providing vaccinations, and schools were established to educate the growing population. Blue Origin's autonomous manufacturing station began processing asteroids for rare materials, and the first Tesla Gigafactory on Mars opened, focusing on recycling solar panel batteries and assembling electric transporters. By 2051, during the second Great Crossing, Mars had become fully self-sufficient, producing all essential goods needed for daily life. Though advanced electronics from Earth remained necessary for ongoing development, the colony could now sustain itself independently, marking a significant achievement in humanity's quest for a permanent presence on Mars. The dream of living on Mars is becoming a reality. From the early days of setting up the base in 2029 to building a self-sufficient colony by 2051, every step shows how far we've come. Mars is turning from a distant goal 
into a place where humans can live and thrive. As we continue to advance, Mars will not just be a dream, but a new home for our future. Stay tuned and subscribe to follow the latest updates on humanity's journey to the Red Planet.